A woman collapses today in a Hamilton County courtroom after being sentenced to prison for a car crash. David Winter is at the courthouse with the dramatic events. David. Paula Kyle, Michelle Lake was in this courthouse just a few hours ago begging for mercy. And while the judge said he did have sympathy, he showed her none, saying she was a ticking time bomb. I'm so very sorry for what happened. I wish so badly I could take that day back. But the 35-year-old mother of three cannot take back the 2018 crash that severely injured two people. It was Thursday, December 6th at about 9.30 in the morning when Michelle Lake was driving and crossed the center line, hitting a car driven by Jody Cox. I, I still have issues. I still have pain. I still can't walk right. I still have emotional issues. I still see that constantly. And it's affected me a great deal. I'm so sorry. A great deal. I'm so very sorry. Another adult passenger and Cox's two-year-old were in the car. Luckily, the two-year-old was not hurt. But the judge reminded Lake that investigators determined cocaine, fentanyl, and methadone were all in her system at the time of the crash. These demons haunt me every day. And the night before the accident, these demons took advantage of the weak state of mind I was in. The decisions that followed will haunt me and the victim's family and my family forever. But it was not necessarily this accident alone on which the prosecutor based his sentencing recommendations of 10 years. She's already been to prison twice. She had another crash that was frightfully similar to this when she killed a person and only did two years. And she had a burglary that she didn't do very long on. In the end, Judge Dinkelocker gave the maximum sentence 10 years for a count of vehicular assault and a count of aggravated vehicular assault and a lifetime driver's license suspension. <laughs> and as Lake was led from the courtroom, her husband called after her. Oh, God. I love you, man. In that 2006 crash that the prosecutor had referenced in the courtroom, it was Lake's passenger who had died. Again, she only received two years for that crash. Reporting from the courthouse, David Winter, Local 12 News. Thank you, David. Well, in delivering the sentence, the judge said that he recognizes Lake was remorseful, but he needs to look out for the safety of the community.